Have you ever had it where you've wanted to eat out and then when you've got there and turned up, it's been closed and yet you've already checked to see what time it was open till and you had like at least half an hour spare. Why was it that the website set a different time to the fact that when you get there, the shop's closed? Well, that can be really frustrating as a customer. So you'll know that having your hours accurately being represented online is essential and Google knows that. And so Google will reward you if people are happy and with the consistency of your hours. Now Google My Business has a whole section, not just for hours, regular hours, but it also covers things like holidays and even extra things like opening times for special occasions, happy hours, takeaways and so on. So have you checked your hours? Are they regularly being updated? Do all your holidays match what your hours are for your shop or your business? Well, this is going to cover all those things today, plus a load of things that you may not have considered. So here's a few things. Should I always put 24 hour opening? Is that going to be an advantage? Is it an advantage always being open, even when it's a bank holiday or a public holiday? Does it matter if my hours are wrong? And if I want to change my hours, is it really difficult or is it straightforward? What do I do if I'm just away for a week and I just got a few special hours for that week? Or how do I add my holiday hours so I can be away? Well, we're gonna cover all those things. It's really quite straightforward. It's nothing to be worried about. But today we're going to check your hours and we're also gonna to check to see what do all the other websites say and all the other citations and indexes say about your hours. Because if they're not consistent, Google will know. And that can also be a negative effect on your Google My Business listing. So I'm gonna show you how there's a free tool to help you to check those things too. So questions to be honest about. Here's one to think about. Do my hours actually benefit my customers? So do you find that a lot of your customers are contacting you at a certain time and actually that's the time when you're closed? I mean, years ago, people used to close half day on a Wednesday in the UK. And also people used to close for lunch between say one and two. But if your customers are coming to you at that time, is that the right time to close? Only you can answer that. But that's one of those questions to be honest about today. Think about your customers. Are they demanding a different type of hour set from you? And would changing, would that give you more customers for your business? Now by saying you're always open and always blasting out 24 hour opening when it's not true, you could start to look desperate. I've often quoted this and said, avoid desperation, it shows and takes away your dignity. And that would be my advice here. A desperate business doesn't gain business. So how can you make sure that your hours are the same as all the other areas? Well, it's obvious that you can check your, your business website and make sure that reflects exactly what's on your Google My Business. That would make sense. But what about your Facebook? What about other business pages? What about Bing? What about Yelp? How do you check all those things too in an easy way? Well, as always, I've got a free tool for you. This time, this one's going to be Bright Local. Let's have a look at it. On this free citation tracker, you can see how you can check your hours. You can make sure as you go to others that they're also all correct when you go to those citations. And so it's just a case of simply doing a scan, checking where you're found on the internet, and then making sure your hours are consistent. You may have heard of NAP, N-A-P, name, address, phone number, and really you could add to that hours as well as a few other things. Just check those things, make sure they're consistent. And what about 5 p.m.? Is it the same as say 1700? Well, as far as Google's concerned, it may just be a little bit fussy sometimes. In the past, we would recommend stick with whatever Google's saying. So if it's saying 1700, then put 1700 if you've got a choice rather than 5 p.m. If it says 5 p.m. on both, then try and keep that consistency too. All those little things will add to what's considered as an authority, trust, and expertise, which is what Google's looking for. So to add hours to your business, you can type in your business name into Google, and then the, one of the ways to get there is if you click on Edit Profile, and then you'll see Hours, and then you can decide on whether these hours are accurate. You can add various hours, you can close or open. But of course, if you're opening or closing because of COVID, then you've got options here as well. Or you can click on hours here. And again, you've got exactly the same information. So that's one way to do it. The second way is you can actually just log in or just check your hours first of all by clicking on here 
and that you'll see then that what's uh, some nine till five on my business. This was updated two weeks ago, which shows again an accuracy to Google. So that's another good important signal. Let's just show you if I was a restaurant, I can click on home in a restaurant and you'll notice if you've not updated your hours, you can click on update business hours here. So that's another way to do so. Uh, if you haven't added hours before, which in this case on this business I haven't, then add hours is another option that comes up as to complete your business. So you really need to do this. If you click on this, it just takes you to the same place, which is info on the left hand here. So I just get to that a different way by click on info and then you've got add hours. And then you've just got to decide really on what times you're opening for. Now I'm going to pretend that uh, we're open from 8 a.m. And I'm also going to show you that, uh, say we're open from 8 till 10 p.m. And some have asked, is it worth having 24 hours? Because that's another option. And 24 hours really isn't helpful because at the end of the day, if you're not open 24 hours, so what restaurant would be open, say 24 hours? It's unlikely. If you're not open 24 hours, that's gonna cause disappointment. So that's why 24 hour opening is only really useful if that's exactly what you're doing. So let's just assume then that we've done this. Now, what I'll also say is you can add more hours. And this is ideal for things like if you do a special happy hour, so let's say, for instance, in this restaurant, we had a happy, happy hour on Mondays um, from, say, 6, um, 6 p.m. So it'd be 4, uh, 16 there till 7. So you can just do that. And that will then just show as an extra hour section. And that will show as like a, an extra happy hour. And you can have all these additional things that are known as more hours that so comes under the more hours section. So you need to know a bit more about that if you feel that will apply and also there are special hours things like holiday hours that you need to consider as well so we just go to my Zanet design one so you notice these are my standard hours but i also have holiday hours so i've got no special extra hours like i did with the restaurant but here for holidays i can fill these out as well so things like uh, if it's a new year or christmas or uh, an easter or a bank holiday then all these things can be added to and you'll get emails that come through to ask for that and again every time you update it it then just gives a signal to google that you're very much ahead of the game and that you're keeping on top of your hours and there have been occasions where google have even shown that the hours have been updated on a particular listing so on the community we recently asked the question if you were uh, having an option to open 24 hours, would that be the right thing to do? Is that true or false? Opening 24 hours will get you more customers. Well, as you can see here, 19% said true, 81% said false, and it is false. The, the idea of getting more customers by going to 24 hour opening is not going to work on that alone. If you are opening 24 hours, then that's slightly different. But on the whole, unless it's true, then it's best not to put it. So if you want to know more about, about more hours, then there's a good explanation here on the Google My Business help page where it explains that these more hours are to enable you to set things like dining hours, takeout hours. So you can just make some changes so that it's not just about opening, but it's also about special times that are applicable as well. And so that's literally just a case of going to your business profile and updating the info under more hours. So in conclusion, what can you do today. Well, today, these are the things you're going to do. You're going to use that free tool by Bright Local, and you're going to check to see are your hours consistent across all your citations and indexes. The second thing I want you to do is just look at your competition and check their hours too. And are you missing a trick? Are they doing something with their hours that you haven't considered? Do they have a happy hour? Do they have a delivery service with a special time at a certain time that you could repeat for your business? Is there something you can learn from your competition? So just check it out, do a search and see what their hours are too. And think about your forthcoming holidays and your bank holidays, your national holidays, and just make sure they're up to date too on your Google My Business listing. And that's the three things that you need to do today. And hopefully you've really benefited from just seeing that changing your hours doesn't take a lot, but actually could make a big difference to how your business is viewed by your customers. Now, tomorrow I've got a really important tip regarding your categories. And there's lots of questions about categories. Categories could make or break your business if you get it right or if you get it wrong. So make sure you visit me on day three tomorrow and we'll talk about categories. I'll see you there.